today we're going to be installing replacement smoke alarms. So the smoke alarms in this house are 21 years old and so they need to be replaced. So what we've got here are ACO EI3024 multi-sensor fire alarms and they've got a replace by date of March 2032 and today is February 2022 so we've got a 10 year life on these. These are multi-sensor alarms they uh, so they can detect smoke and they can detect heat and they are linked together via a cable so if one goes off they both go off they've also got uh, inbuilt rechargeable lithium ion batteries so the battery should last the life of the smoke alarm so there's no changing batteries So we've got smoke alarm and a base. And some instructions. And these are both the same. So we've got a pair. They actually come with a dust cover which you can put on them if you're having any work done in the house like decorating where you're going to create a lot of dust you can cover them up to prevent dirt going into them. So this alarm is intended to be used as a device that provides a loud warning when it detects smoke or heat to alert people of an immediate danger enabling them to evacuate their dwelling promptly must be installed in accordance with the latest standards and is for indoor use only. This device is mains powered with a built-in battery backup suitable for use in residential applications. It can be interconnected by hardwire or RF. I think it means that the RF you can buy an extra module but uh, in this instance, it will be connected via hard wiring. Built-in 10-year rechargeable vanadium pentoxide lithium cells. Alarm sound of piezoelectric horn. 85 decibels at three meters. It's got a test and a hush button visual indicators, operational life 10 years, interconnection, the units can be interconnected by a hardwired or wireless system using the optional smart link module. This is one of the original 21 year old smoke alarms. It's interconnected to one upstairs of the same variety. You can see that it has a red LED light showing which means that the power is on. So I've ascertained which is the breaker that runs the smoke alarms and it's this one. So if we switch that off The power is now isolated from the smoke alarm. So the LED power light has now gone off. There is a battery backup. It's in this in this uh, drawer here. So in the event of a power cut, the smoke alarms still work. Top tip: make sure that the LED power lights have gone off on both smoke detectors because if they are on different circuits, which they shouldn't be, but if they are actually on different electrical circuits, 
there may still be voltage in the interconnecting cable coming from the other smoke detector but uh, yes I've made certain by looking at both LEDs that these are on the same circuit and they have both gone off with the circuit breaker but I will be using an insulated screwdriver for safety I will be using a non-contact voltage detector meter to prove that the power is actually off so this is the old detector and we just twist this and it hangs down so just to prove it I've, I've reinstated the power on the circuit breaker so that wire must be in neutral that one must be alive okay I've turned the power back off and now there is no voltage up here at all which makes it safe and time for a cup of coffee I don't want to be working too hard so these wires come from a strip connector block in the ceiling and then they come down and plug into the back of the smoke detector the new ones, the EI3024s, are different. They have the connections under this cover. Release the connector from the smoke detector and pull it, pull it out. And we take the old base down. So this is one of the old ones, it's a BRK model 86RACE and uh, unfortunately these are no longer available. This is where the uh, cables went in, uh, neutral, interconnect and live. So I've got the new base plate fitted to the ceiling and the one upstairs as well. So now we need to actually wire the base plates up. Okay, so we've got the wires in and we just have to refit this protective cover. So that's it with the protective cover on. So now we just slide the smoke alarm onto the base and that's the ground floor one done. Now we've got those in there, those in there. And it's on. Okay, so we've done the downstairs one. Now we need to do the upstairs one. Uh, we've got the power turned off, which is confirmed by my tester. So I'm going to uh, cut these wires. We know which is which. Take the live one first. Okay, so the the base is screwed to the ceiling and wired up. 
so it's just a case of sliding the smoke detector on like we did downstairs so line up the four clips and slide all in and working and what I wanted to show you was the audio link feature on these EI3024 alarms you download the audio link app on your phone and open it you press download alarm data and then you go over to the smoke alarm and you press the test button three times it downloads information a bit like in the olden days with a modem via sound which is why it's called audio link and it will give you a report download alarm data press ok and then press this three times. Okay, recording completed successfully. So this is the report that you get from Audio Link on your mobile phone or tablet. And the alarm age is 323 days, which is probably the date of manufacture. Replacement due in March 2032, so that's 10 years away. Mains power status is on times that the mains power has been turned off zero alarm on for zero days batteries full no low battery events sensor status okay dust contamination level zero test button activations three times alarm removed that means how many times have you removed it from its base so that's zero and we haven't had any alarm, smoke or heat. And at the top, there's a location tab. If you press that, you can fill in the address of the property and the location of the detector, i.e. hall or landing, etc. You also get a sticker to mark the breaker that has the smoke alarms on on your electrical consumer unit and a sticker at the top to say when they were installed how many there are and how to remove the alarm in this case by inserting a screwdriver to release a catch and slide in the smoke detector away from the base. And the other test we can do is to test the interconnect. So this is the upstairs detector on the landing and I'm going to go downstairs and press the test button on the downstairs one in the hall and this, this one should go off as well. And then we do the other way round and uh, press this one, test button, and the one downstairs goes off as well. So that's the end of the installation. Thank you for watching.